In this video we will be constructing two types of perpendiculars to lines. Before continuing with this video, make sure you are comfortable with constructing perpendicular bisectors. If you're not sure about how to do that, go back to the earlier video in this topic. Now, in the first example here, we want to construct a perpendicular to this line segment at this point here. So we want a line that's at right angles to this one that goes through this point. Notice that this point marked here is not the midpoint of this line segment. So we don't want to construct the perpendicular bisector of this line segment. That would give us a perpendicular line to this, but it would go through the middle somewhere around here. What we need to do is turn this problem into a perpendicular bisector problem like this. I'm going to get my compasses and position the needle at the point there. I'm going to open out the compasses a little bit so that the distance is a bit less than the distance to the end point. So let's say there. And I'm going to mark an arc here. And without changing the compass length, mark an arc over here. Now, notice that the distance from that point there to the mark we made is the same as the distance from that point to the other mark we made. So this distance is the same as this distance. That means this cross is the midpoint of those two points I just created. What I can do now is ignore the rest of the line segment and just construct the perpendicular bisector of just this bit here. Using the steps from the earlier video on perpendicular bisectors, that process looks like this. And that's it for the first one. I have constructed a line, or a line segment to be precise, that is perpendicular to the one we were given, and it goes through that point there. In the second example, we need to construct the perpendicular to this line segment that goes through this point here. Now, the perpendicular line we get won't bisect this line segment. It won't split it into two equal halves. You can see that it's a bit closer to the right hand side of this particular line segment. So what are we going to do? Well, I'll do something similar to before. I'm going to turn this problem into a problem where we just need to find a perpendicular bisector. I do that by positioning my compass needle on this point here. So I'm going to position it like that. I'm then going to open out my compasses to a length that's a bit greater than the distance from the point to the line segment. So something a bit like that. Then I draw two arcs, one here and one over here. Now, all I need to do is just consider this part of the line segment and ignore all the rest. The perpendicular bisector of just this part will end up going through that point there. So we will end up with a perpendicular to this line segment that goes through that point. Here's how that looks. As I've said in the earlier videos, when you're doing constructions, always leave in your construction marks. Do not rub them out. They show the examiner that you know what you're doing and that you really did this using just compasses and straight edge and that you didn't cheat by using a protractor. 